Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find segment lengths um, when you have a tangent line. Uh, so, if you didn't see the video on tangent lines and, and radii, uh, it's just a previous video. I suggest you watch it because it's so fascinating. Um, so, uh, but if you didn't think it's fascinating, then whatever. I'm not hurt, okay? So, yeah, not hurt. So, but just watch it again. And again and again. So find the segment of um, find the segment length indicated. So this line right here. Assume that lines which appear to be tangent are tangent. So uh, this line right here. It's telling us that this line is tangent. So if you guys remember, uh, when a line is tangent to a circle and a radius intersects uh, that that tangent line at the point of tangency where the line touches the circle then the radius and the tangent line are perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular means that they make right angles. So this is a right angle. So what do we have here? It looks like we have a right triangle. It says, find this length right here. This is the question mark when we have a right triangle and we have at least information about two sides. Um, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, remember the Pythagorean theorem is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And the C is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the side that is opposite the right angle. Here's the right angle. And it's looking at the hypotenuse right there. So this entire side right here is the hypotenuse. Uh, we're trying to just find this. But what's the length of this right here? Do we have any information about this whole thing right here? Um, yeah, so the length from here to here is four because that's the radius. So the length of this, our information about C is four plus question mark. Um, so the hypotenuse that we have is, uh, four plus question mark squared. So this is our C right here. And we'll set it equal to uh, a squared, which is 4 squared plus 4.2 squared. So here's our a, here's our b, or this could have been your a, this could have been your b, doesn't matter. And then let's just grab our calculator and start squaring some numbers. So 4 squared, well, we don't need a calculator for that. Hopefully not. 4 squared is not 8, it's 16. But what's this decimal square? So 4.2 squared is 17.64 is equal to so now here uh, you're going to be tempted to do some algebra definitely don't be tempted to distribute the square here and here because that's against algebra rules um, you'll be tempted to um, might write four plus question mark times four plus question mark because that's real algebra uh, but don't do that so just bring this down okay and let's combine these two like terms. So 16, uh, so we still have the 17.64 plus 16, which is 33.64. And we'll bring this down, four plus question mark squared. And we wanna get this question mark by itself. So I wanna get rid first, I wanna get rid of the square right here. What's the opposite of squaring something? Yeah, I heard you, you said square root. Yeah, good, so we're going to square root both sides. So the square root of 33.64 is 5.8. And so now the, the square and the square roots or the radical cancel each other out. So we just have four plus question mark. And how do we get that question mark by itself? We subtract four from both sides. So the question mark, 5.8 minus 4 is 1.8. There aren't any units, so we're just going to write units. Uh, that looks like a V, so I'm going to write the word out. So units. Uh, so there's your final answer. Question mark is 1.8 units. And that's how you find uh, segment length when you have a tangent line and the radius. Just remember that the tangent line and the radius are always perpendicular. And if they make a triangle, they make a right triangle. So just use the Pythagorean theorem. And that's it. I hope that helps. Have a great day.